Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to day two of Three Days of Doom. Today, I'm gonna talk to you guys about what it was like to be on Doom Eternal's heavy metal choir. Get the fuck out of here. The next week, we do what we want, bitch. So here I am at Austin, Texas. Uh, Alex dropped me off at Roland Studio Theater. So um, I got there. I walked around, um, didn't know, there was no signs, couldn't see any signs about Doom Eternal, so I walked around the studio theater, and I see four people standing outside the door. I walk up to them, and I was like, hey, you guys want to be here for uh, Doom Eternal Heavy Metal Choir? And they said yes. So I was like, fuck yeah. So minutes go by, there was a couple more people coming in, and uh, there was a guy at the door, came in and said, hey, you guys here for Doom Eternal? When we were walking inside, well, when I was walking inside, I was... Uh, kind of nervous. I didn't know what the hell I was, all, I was walking into. But they told us, like, hey, we got deli sandwiches, chips, pretzels, soft drinks, all that for you guys. You guys are more than welcome to have it. After that, we just did a meet and greet with everybody. And um, I was nervous meeting people, but honestly, everybody was there for the same cause. So everybody was really cool. Everybody was just honestly nice and everybody was just so pumped to be there. And we started to make our way to a theater. Uh, there's a bunch of chairs and there was a stage. Um, so when, you, when we first walked in, it was pitch black. It was pitch black. And then when you walked in further, a little further in there, um, you started to see the red lights and um, you started to see candles on the ground. Um, it, I mean, when I went in there, it was just, it was just crazy because um, the mood setting in there was just about, it just felt like hell, like you're in hell. You're about to get ready to do something fucking tense. Boom. Here comes Mick Gordon telling, hey, saying, hey, uh, what's up to everybody? He gave us uh, a little warm up, a little throat warm up to uh, get started. Um, so how he did the warm up was he told us to do a, a low high, like so start up high with your low and then work all the way down till you get low. So it's like, <sighs> So we did that for a couple of time, uh, a couple of runs, and um, I remember a guy coming in and saying, hey, I'm going to Starbucks. Does anybody want to go to Starbucks? I remember everybody was rushed to him. I was like, yeah, I want this, I want that. So um, we took another 30 minutes, um, another 30 minute break, and then once everybody got their coffee and drunk their coffee, we went into the theater and we started working. Um, so when we started working, uh, Mick Gordon, he was explaining to us what he wrote on the board. Um, there's a part that said Karan Tuk. I think that said rip and tear um, and he was explaining to us how he wanted us to scream and all that and uh, it was just pretty sick like I, I was like oh my god like I'm nervous I was like I hope I'm gonna do this right I hope I execute this right but honestly McGordon was like guys you guys are awesome you guys are picked for a reason you guys can do this I believe in you guys and honestly that gave me comfort and I just did the goddamn thing but um, how he did it was he said women on the other half and guys on the other half but um, I remember he put a different type of screams in the middle um, I want to say the Mongolian scream was in the middle and uh, he, I, I want to say first off I learned a lot from the Mongolian screamer um, that is fucking sick uh, to this day on I still can't do it I think that's a hard task for me um, but I'm still trying but I guys if you guys haven't heard about Mongolian metal you really need to check that out Anyways, so he got us set to where we needed to be. Uh, he wrote on the board uh, what we needed to say. Every hour will go past, and after that hour, we will take a 15 minute break. So, um, hour will pass, we take a 15 minute break. So, four hours in, we uh, have lunch. Uh, we had free birds, I wanna say. I think that's what it's called, free birds. Uh, for those of you guys that don't, don't know free birds, it's like a Chipotle, but I think free birds is only down south. But definitely check it out, it's pretty damn good. But in the lunch, everybody was sitting at this, uh, sitting at the tables, it was a U-shape. It looked like we were having a fucking conference meeting, like, oh yeah, yeah, we should do this, put taxes on that motherfucker, blah, blah, blah. But um, really, everybody was just networking. Everybody was talking like, hey, I'm in this band, hey, we play shows here, hey, um, you should check this out, maybe we should do a tour together. It was like we were all family, like everybody was just all fucking happy, like nobody would, had a shitty ass day. It was just er everybody had smiling faces, man. And the energy in that motherfucker was just wild. But um, <clears throat> Mick Gordon had lunch with us too. That's where I took a picture with Mick Gordon. Um, I talked to him for a little bit, not that much. To be honest with you, I was nervous talking to him. I didn't want to sound, I don't know. I, 
was just nervous talking to him. You know how you would go up to somebody famous, you're like, ah, 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 you don't know what to say. I was basically like that. I didn't know what the fuck to say. But uh, after the meeting, no, I'm sorry, after the lunch, we went back to work for another five hours. So, you know, an hour of screaming and then 15 minute break. Uh, McGordon was pretty cool of taking breaks because he knew that um, using our throats for screams could, you know, wear a lot. So he wanted us to take as much breaks for us. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I don't know, man. It's like when I'm explaining this, I'm, I feel like I'm there. And it just it sucks because I wish I could be there. I wish you guys were there just to experience what the fuck happened. Like, but, um, so five hours roll past. Um, Megora said, you guys did a fucking wonderful job. Uh, we're at the end. We did it. I have a surprise and a gift for you guys. So we're all looking around. And um, he comes out with a white bag. And he pulls out a Doom CD. And he gave everybody a Doom CD. And he uh, gave us a signature. And I got a signature right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of, it's gold. But... I, I, this motherfucker has been in my room hanging up. I cherish this every fucking day. He passed out all the CDs. Um, of course, everybody wanted to get autographs from uh, McGordon. So while everybody was waiting to uh, get pictures and autographs of McGordon, um, I took that time to talk to everybody, you know, say, hey, this is not the last, this is not the end. I hope I get to see you in the future, hopefully on the road. Um, I even went to the this little, I want to say this book, this it's a Doom Eternal heavy metal choir. It's like a, uh, like a director's book. I don't know, but it shows you all the chance, how the chance would be, how the chance to go and all that. It, it was just sick. I wish I could t uh, took the picture, but they said we couldn't. But uh, honestly, <clears throat> when all that said, when, uh, when I got my CD signed, it was just, I did not want to leave. I know Alex was outside waiting cause he was, you know, he had nobody to hang out with for like nine hours. And I know he wanted to fucking go, but I, dude, I just did not want to go. The people were just fucking unreal. Like there was so much amazing talent and just, I, I wish that I could do it again. Hopefully I could do it again. But um, that's honestly what happened in Austin, Texas. Um, if you like if you like what you hear, please subscribe us, The World I Knew on YouTube. That would mean a lot to us. Um, I want to say thank you guys for watching this video, watching the first video and the second video. There is a third video, The Three Days of Doom, which is the last video, so please stay tuned to watch that. Um, again, thank you Doom fans, thank you Twig fans, thank you everybody. Thank you so much. Um, if you guys weren't here to help me out, I... I I wouldn't be doing this. And honestly, bottom of my heart, I really just want to say thank you. Thank you guys so much. Peace.